Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate you joining us each week. Hope that you'll share this maybe with a friend, somebody that may need a word of encouragement or a spiritual thought as they, uh, they begin their week. Uh, you know, it's interesting when Jesus went in Matthew to call his disciples, uh, Matthew records that Jesus uh, walked on the shoreline and he said to uh, Peter and Andrew and to James and John uh, in Matthew 4, he said, uh, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And scripture says a very interesting phrase. It says, and then they left their nets and they followed Jesus. I think it's interesting how that that understanding of the nets so often influences and impacts all of our lives as well. Because to follow Jesus, we've got to leave our nets. And it's often the nets of our life that we get entangled in. And the things that prevent us from following Jesus with all that he desires of our life. Because following Jesus is not something that we just decide, you know what, I wanna volunteer for the next level of the Christian experience. No, Jesus saved us by his grace and mercy so that we would follow him. And in our following him, <clears throat> that we might glorify him. Remember the story in the Old Testament where Jonah is told by God, I want you to go and I want you to tell the people of this town named Nineveh uh, to turn from their ways. And the Bible says that Jonah didn't want to do that. In fact, Jonah uh, went and got a boat to go just the opposite direction of Nineveh. And then he encountered God and a great fish. It's a great story. But the point is this. Jonah didn't want to follow what God said because he got tangled up in his nets. He got tangled up in the nets of his compassionless prejudice against the people of Nineveh. Let me ask you a question. Are you tangled up in your net? The net that you were supposed to leave, the net that I was supposed to leave, the net of our agenda, of our bad habits, of our uh, bad attitudes, the nets of all the things that distract us and occupy us and that wanna pull us back into a life that's not the life God wants, but the life that somebody else wants or that we want. I think what God wants us to do is to leave our nets and follow Jesus. It's kind of like sometimes as a Christian, I think we're kind of like having two or three kids in the back seat of a car and you're trying to drive and they're in the back seat and they're fighting and arguing and struggling. Sometimes that's the way we are with Jesus. Jesus is trying to lead us. He's trying to drive the car, but we're back in the back seat, all tangled up in the nets all tangled up in all the junk. And the Lord says, leave those nets and follow me. The greatest challenge of our spiritual journey really is the desire to leave whatever it may be, to leave our agenda aside, to leave our ambition aside and say to the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, I trust in you and I'll follow you and I'll go wherever you want me to go, and I'll leave my nets, never to return, but only to keep my eyes set on you. May God bless you. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.